Okay, right here is a 2003 Caterpillar 988G. The 988G was first introduced by Caterpillar in 2000. As a replacement for the older 988F, the 988G featured a completely new design. And what made it so unique was the one-piece cast steel box section front lift arm design, which you can see right here. This replaced the older twin boom design and Z-bar linkage found on the older 988F model. The new boom and dual bucket links work to increase breakout force, better torsional resistance, and offer higher lift capacity. And the stresses generated from the bucket digging cycles are spread the full length and perimeter over the box section, which thus resists twisting and helps to prevent stress cracking. The standard bucket capacity for a 988G can range anywhere from 8.2 to 9.2 cubic yards. Right here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together. And this is where the articulated steering is. One cylinder on each side to turn the loader left or right. And if you look right here on the side of the loader frame, you can see the plate with the machine's product identification number and the model number. You can see where it says 988G. On the left hand side of the loader is the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here, and it holds 179 gallons of fuel. The frame on a 988G is more than 90% robotically welded for increased strength and the new box section frame was extended forward to improve rail and hitch strength. And by doing so, it also provided better stability and balance for the loader. Now, let's go up on top of the 988G. Inside of this compartment, you can get a good view of the Caterpillar diesel engine that powers this loader. It's a model 3456 EUI, and it produces 475 horsepower for this machine. It has an advanced diesel engine management system, or ADEM, which controls the fuel injector solenoids to start and stop fuel injection. And the 988G also has an advanced modular cooling system which improves cooling capabilities by using a parallel flow system with seven cores. And on the top of the engine house, you can see the air intake. And as you can see, there is a lot of room up on the top deck of a 988G. This big service compartment that you see located directly behind the operator's cab is to access the transmission and hydraulic pumps, which you can see right down inside of there. Okay, now let's go inside the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the cab of a 988G. Okay, the noise level inside the cab of a 988G is rated to be below 77 decibels. This machine features an electro-hydraulic control system and also a Caterpillar monitoring system which monitors the entire loader when it's in operation. Out in front here, you can see the gauges and warning lights. On the floor, you see three foot pedals. 
The third pedal that you see over here on the left side operates the impeller clutch torque converter. When you step on this pedal halfway, it modulates the amount of rim pull from 100 to 20 percent. The second half applies 20 percent rim pull and brakes. This gives smooth transitions for brake on to brake off for fast loading cycles. What the impeller clutch does is it modulates the amount of power sent to the wheels. While the torque converter has a standard lockup clutch which allows for fast load and carry cycles. And probably the one thing that you are noticing inside the cab of the 988G is as you can see out in front there's no steering wheel. The 988G is a full joystick control machine for its steering. And that's what this hand lever that you see over here on the left side is used for. This is how you steer this loader and control its direction. This would be to turn to the left and turn to the right. And the toggle switch that you see down below that you control with your finger is to shift the loader from reverse, neutral, or forward gears. This is what is called an STIC control system. On the right side, these two hand levers that you see that you control with your fingers control all the digging functions of the loader out in front. One to raise the loader arms up and down and the other to curl the bucket in or out. And from here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 988G. The 988G was designed to be a perfect match for truck sizes ranging anywhere from 40 to 70 ton capacity, making this a very popular loader for quarry operations all around the world. And the overall working weight of a 988G is 55 tons. But there she is, a 2003 Caterpillar 988G.